gun rights group has announced plans for a mock mass shooting at the University of Texas to prove a point about gun-free zones. It is a move some say is in poor taste. In fact, even some local gun rights advocates are distancing themselves from it. Fox 7's Casey Claiborne joins us live from the UT campus with more tonight. Rebecca, the group's initial plan was to do this on campus, but UT got wind of this and basically said, not here, you're not. So the group is meeting with the school tomorrow, but they say the so-called theatrical performance will probably happen somewhere near UT, using the school as a backdrop. 2016 will be 50 years since Charles Whitman shot and killed 16 people while perched at the top of the University of Texas Tower. All these years later, mass shootings have unfortunately become a fairly common occurrence. This weekend, in the name of gun rights, Come and Take It Texas is staging a mock mass shooting near UT. We're going to just represent, you know, the, the dangers of gun-free zones. 95% of mass shootings here in America are in these gun-free zones. They're target-rich environments that, um, that are really just killing zones for, for these criminals. Murdoch Pisgotti, president and founder of the group, says they'll start out with an open carry walk down Guadalupe. Then they'll put the real guns away and stage a theatrical performance that may involve oversized cardboard guns, fake blood, and gunshot sound effects. It's going to be a non-realistic over-dramatization of, of that. It's not a, re, a realistic style event, so um, I can't see anyone being startled by you know, what, what it's actually going to look like. UT says they don't allow any outside groups to use their property for protests or assembly, saying when outside individuals come on campus and violate our rules regarding use of our grounds and facilities, they are asked to leave. If they do not, it becomes a criminal trespass matter. We suggest that any outside organizations planning such events on campus relocate them to other space where they would be allowed. Gun rights advocate and radio host Michael Cargill is livid about the mock shooting. He's asked the group to reconsider. We know what's going to happen if there's a mass shooting. I don't need a bunch of idiots to get together and tell me what a mass shooting is going to look like. We have criminals that show us that all the time. Cargill says it's in poor taste and it hurts their chances of getting gun rights legislation passed. If you want to write a book on how to screw something up, then do something like this and execute it in a bad way. And we all look like we're a bunch of crazies. When we started our open carry walks two years ago, a lot of people didn't want us ruffling feathers. Um, but as it's proven, when we are now obtaining open carry, it was the right thing to do. UT electrical engineering major Dwayne Perry calls the performance silly, but he thinks come and take it should be able to do it on campus. I'm not sure if this will really uh, actually accomplish anything more than just draw attention to it, but I guess maybe it brings people to the discussion. As for what come and take it stands for, Perry does support concealed campus carry. Well, I don't think it'll cause problems to have guns on campus. I think it'll be a good thing. People should be able to exercise their rights. The group Students for Concealed Carry also denouncing this. Just let me read a little bit of what they said. They said the hardest thing about fighting for concealed carry on Texas college campuses is, quote, undoing the damage done by the small subset of gun rights activists who believe that theatricality and intimidation are adequate stand-ins for rational discourse and fact-based Argument. So what do you think about this? Clearly a touchy issue for many people. Head to the Fox 7 Austin Facebook page and let us know what you think. All right, Casey Claiborne, live in Central Austin tonight.